You know, it was one of those things. I've had uh, such a great opportunity to learn off Marinda and Belinda and Jazzy up in Noosa. You know, when I got sort of the invite in mid-January, I was like, oh, I've just had three months off and my first Ironman. And like any sort of virgin, I want to perform on my first go around. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't always work out yeah. right? I'm going to be trying very hard, let's put it that way. <laughs> we I, may not, I may not know what I'm doing, but, um, but I've been, you know, even Crowe, I sent him an email and said, I started, I called him and said, Crowe, you know, I've got so many questions, and he said, great, fire away. And so I said, hang on. So I started writing them out on a Word document, and the pages just kept going and going and going. I'm like, I can't send him this, this is way too much. So I started doing some homework, and, you know, there's a lot to learn about, about going long and, um, the nutrition and the pacing and how the race works out and even just you know do you wear your shirt in the swim or do you put a new dry shirt on and so many little things that I, I think all the people who are doing Ironman for years know but for me it's kind of you know I'm a 40 year old virgin that's now looking at it going okay I've had a great career in Olympic distance and I've done everything I can you know want to do in that that sort of discipline and uh, to have this opportunity to come to Melbourne back home to Australia and, and uh, come and do this event with so many peers and really good friends. You know, one of the things I love, I think the, the men's field is one of the strongest men's field we're gonna see in, outside of Kona this year. Um, for me, that's a great thing. It just means more people around me to sort of figure out what to do and I'll be just trying to learn as I go. And um, I've already said to Crowe just earlier, you know, okay, don't leave me in the swim. I need to swim with you, I need to bike with you. And I, you're gonna blow me away in the run at some point, but just let me run with you for a little bit just so I can figure it out. And uh, it's really exciting. You know, and that's the beautiful thing about our sport. I remember coming here in the early 90s and the Tui's Blue Grand Prix and the St. George Grand Prix and St. Kilda here and we had Channel 10 and it was a really big event. And then I went and did a lot more of the World Cup and the ITU World Series around the world for five, six you know, years like that. And then it spent the last five years in America doing the non-drafting Olympic distance. And there's always another opportunity in our sport, even though it's still triathlon, there's so many different things to experience. So. I feel really fortunate that this sort of draws opened up and I'll, I'll do Melbourne and then uh, hopefully finish and then do Kona again, uh, Kona for the first time and uh, it'll be fun.